What is up everybody, Arctic Platypus back here with another zoo video. We're gonna go onwards to the monster section in this one. We already checked out the snack shack in the nether section if you wanna go check that out. Um, so down here, we're gonna go take a left and here's the monsters. We're gonna start off with the zombies and the zombie villagers here. These are the adult versions and you can see they, they did get rid of the normal looking villager zombie the, the that one had the same clothes as the traditional zombie but had a villager head and now they've replaced them with all these different variations of zombie villager zombie really cool you can see like the blacksmith or i don't know which one's the blacksmith but there's like a librarian there's a priest somewhere really cool zombies and all the models are based off the villagers themselves over here we got skeletons, pretty basic mob, spawnable in l different, uh, in the low light levels. And range, they have range attacks, blend into caves, pretty dangerous guys. Baby zombies over here, they're a lot faster than their adult equivalents. Look at that, how fast their legs move, very scary. Um, definitely a cool mob, used in a lot of adventure maps. Um, very rare to spawn naturally, but you will definitely see it. Like, it's not, like, too rare. Over here we got Strays, new mob in Minecraft 1.10, which is the version I'm running. And these guys spawn in colder areas, but they are just a variant of the skeleton. I think they might behave a bit differently, but they are quite similar to the traditional skeleton. Over here we got Husks, which, again, are like the zombies. They're a new mob in 1.10, but they spawn in the hot areas rather than the cold areas that the strays do. They have the zomb the baby zombie version, and they are uh, pretty cool. Over here we got spiders. They can climb, which is pretty vicious. Definitely want to protect your base from these guys. Um, they have a, um, a pretty good jump range, so be careful of these guys. Over here we got creepers. These are definitely the most well-known mob in the game of Minecraft. I mean, if you see pictures of Minecraft, you're probably going to see creepers. Come up behind you, blow you up, blow up your base, blow up your chest. Never getting back that stuff. Pretty brutal guys, but you gotta love them. Cave spiders over here. These guys are similar to the bigger spiders, but they're smaller. They can fit through one block holes which is much more dangerous. They only spawn in abandoned mine shafts at the spawners that spawn them. Um, they get the poison effect. Very, very brutal guys. Over here we have silverfish. There's only a few of them left because they nestled into the blocks around them. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. But they spawn in strongholds. Um, and strongholds, if you don't know, lead you to the end with a few ender pearls and whatnot. And here we got Endermites, which are actually based off the model of the silverfish. These things are hella buggy. Um, look at them, they're spinning around in circles. They have a small chance of spawning whenever you throw an Ender Pearl to teleport. Pretty rare chance, though. Over here we got Slimes. They have been disappearing over time because I think the bigger variants were killing themselves in this, these small block spaces. But there are different sizes of Slimes. Bigger sizes will break up into smaller sizes of slimes when you kill them. They spawn in swampy areas and very far underground. Um, over here we got witches. These spawn just like other mobs like creepers and skeletons and zombies at night. You'll see them. They also spawn in witch huts. Um, they have some crazy potions that they can throw at you. Definitely a hard mob to deal with. You want to be careful of these guys. Over here we got Guardians. These are pretty new. I think they were in the 1.9 update. Um, they spawn in ocean monuments. They protect it. They have ranged attack. They Look how they follow you with their eyes. It's really, really creepy. Over here we got the Elder Guardian. It's going to be kind of hard for you to see him right now. He's kind of way back there in his cage. But you probably can see him a bit. He's kind of following me now. Um, this guy is way more hard to deal with. He's going to be um, a much more difficult opponent than these normal guardians are. Much bigger. Um, has a different ranged attack. More intense. 
Look at his tail. I mean, it's, just, it's massive. It's a massive creature. Guards these, um, these ocean monuments with the guardians. Over here, we got the Shulker. These only spawn in city after you've completed the Ender Dragon boss fight. Pretty annoying mobs blend into the air, to their environment, blend in like a block of um, whatever this stuff is. This stuff spawns in end city. But they have a weird attack that makes you levitate and then you drop. Pretty brutal, especially if you're in end if you're in end city. Um, Enderman here. Let's put on a pumpkin just to make sure he does not see us. And of course, I had the pumpkins already on me. Um, <laughs> but let's put the pumpkin on. And let's do that. And here you can see, um, if you were in survival mode, this pumpkin would prevent them from seeing you, and they would totally be chill with you. But these Endermen can teleport, and they can place blocks, take blocks from their environment, look like, like they're doing right now with all this dirt. Pretty annoying, but kind of cool. Um, so that's it for the monster section, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment if you think I missed anything. Dislike if you did dislike the video. Um, and overall, guys, have a fantastic day, and I will see you all in the next video.